Here is a lovely PDF document that you might want to use for, say, a class, but if you'll notice down at the end here, one of the problems is it has the answer key, so obviously you wouldn't want to give that to students. So if you have the full paid version of Adobe, you're able to remove pages, but that version's pretty expensive, so here's a free alternative. Now, on some versions of Adobe, like the one I have on my Mac, I can open this thumbnail view. So if you, this is the typical view for Adobe Reader, and if you just click on the page thumbnails, you'll see all the different pages, and I can actually click on a page, hit the delete button on my keyboard, and it will disappear, and I can resave it. But there's no option in this PC version right here for me to delete a page. So here's the workaround instead. You just go to the File menu, and you're actually going to choose Print, and instead of printing to an actual printer, here's my print dialog menu, you will change that to pretty much everyone has a PDF version or PDF type printer on their computer. So you're basically printing your own PDF and then you just put the pages you want in. So if you wanted everything but the last two pages, you could just do pages one through seven. Or if you want just a certain number of pages, you can use commas. So I can do one comma and then three through five. So that's gonna print pages one, three, four, and five. And then you'll just choose print. And because I have it set to print PDF, and now what it will do is just prompt me to save this PDF to somewhere on my computer. So I can just give it a new name, or just add the word revised at the end, save it to my desktop. And now I go to my desktop, you can see that I have a much shorter PDF. So that's the free workaround for cutting pages out of a PDF document.